Hey guys, so today we're going to show you how to program GHL magnetic stirs on the standalone Doser 2.1 and Profilux 4. In addition to that, we'll also be going over the options shown in the magnetic stir settings page. The GHL magnetic stir is designed to work in conjunction with the Doser 2.1 and connects directly to one of the Doser's magnetic stir ports. These stirs can be set to run at slower or faster speeds and be programmed to perform various tasks such as stirring up fluids before a scheduled dose. It can even be set up to run several times throughout the day regardless of a dosing schedule. For those using larger dosing containers, you can even put multiple stirs side by side to create a larger magnetic stirring platform. To get started, First connect your stirrer to one of the ports located on the back of the doser. Be sure to take note what port you have your stirrer connected to because you'll need this info when you're assigning the stirrer to a specific dosing pump. Next, open up GCC and connect to your standalone doser or Profilux 4. Once you are connected, click on Magnetic Stirs. For those using a Profilux 4, click on the plus icon right beside Extras and select Magnetic Stirs. Take a look at the port number you have the stirrer connected to and select the corresponding magnetic stirrer number. The number you use will depend on what magnetic stirrer port number you have the stirrer connected to. For example, if you have one dosing unit and you have the stirrer connected to port number 1, use magnetic stirrer number 1. If you have two dosing units and you have the stirrer connected to port number 1 on the second unit, use magnetic stirrer number 5. In the column that says activated by, Select if you want the stirrer activated by a dosing pump or a specific power bar socket number. Clicking three times fast will show the drop down option for the selected row. The index column corresponds to the dosing pump number or socket number that will be responsible for controlling the magnetic stirrer. For example, if you have dosing pump selected and index set to 1, the magnetic stirrer will react to the dosing schedule of dosing pump number 1. If the index was set to 2, the stir will react to the dosing schedule of dosing pump number 2. If you were to have switch channel selected and index set to 5, the magnetic stir will react to the on off activity of switch channel number 5. This means that when socket number 5 turns on, the magnetic stir will turn on also. When the socket turns off, the stirrer will turn off with it. At this time you can go ahead and enter the correct index number into the respective field. In the lead time column, set how many seconds in advance you want the stirrer to run before the assigned dosing pump is set to run. For example, a lead time of 60 seconds will run the stirrer 60 seconds before the scheduled dose of the assigned dosing pump. Keep in mind you can set a lead time of up to 255 seconds. In stir cycles per day, answer how many times per day the stir should run in general. If you set it to run 10 times per day, it will evenly spread those 10 cycles throughout the day. You can set the stir to run for up to 48 times per day. Stir duration is where you set how many seconds the stir should run when it is activated. You can set the stir to run for up to 255 seconds per cycle. Lastly, the speed column is where you simply adjust the speed of the stirrer. Keep in mind that 15 is the maximum speed. Once you've finished entering the desired settings, click save changes and you're all done. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions for us and need further support, feel free to reach out to us on our GHL support forum or by email at info at Until next time folks, take care.